Welcome to HDFC Securities 5 Minute Market Wrap Up for the week ended 5th Jan 2024. Your weekly guide to all the key events in the equity markets. In key macroeconomic news, US Fed's FOMC minutes were released. The FOMC noted an unusually elevated level of uncertainty about the policy path. While the committee expects to cut rates three times, the timing is difficult to gauge. U.S. non-farm payrolls increased by 164,000 in December versus 101,000 jobs in November 23. U.S. industrial production also rose by 0.2% month-on-month after a decrease of 0.9% in October 23. India's manufacturing PMI eased to an 18-month low of 54.9 in December 2023. On the other hand, India's GST collections continued to be strong Average monthly GST collections from April till December 2023 have been about 1.66 lakh crores per month, up 12% year-on-year. Eurozone inflation rebounded to 2.9% in November from 2.4% in October, but this was below the expectation of 3%. Nifty saw some profit booking earlier in the week, but recovered and ended the week flat. The broader market indices did far better with the BSE mid-cap index rising by 2.4% and the small-cap index by 2.7%. Among key sectoral gainers, Nifty Realty was the star, rising by about 7.8%. Telecom, Power and Pharma indices also locked in gains of more than 3%. Among key sectoral losers, the Nifty IT index fell by about 2% in line with a sharp correction in Nasdaq. Nifty Metals also was down about 1.3%. Among select market movers this week, shares of Spark rose 47% after the company scheduled a conference for updating on the progress of its Parkinson's drug. Shares of Shoba jumped by 29% after Motilal Oswal picked Shoba as its top idea for FY24. Shares of Aisha Motor declined 7% after its two-wheeler sales declined by 7% month-on-month. The shares of Sri Cement were lower by 6% after the company received at least 4,000 crore tax demand. FII activity was mixed, but FIIs ended the week with net purchases of Rs. 3,300 crores in cash. DIIs, on the other hand, were net sellers, selling about 7,300 crores of equities in cash. U.S. markets witnessed profit booking the week, prompted by the release of FOMC minutes. The Nasdaq Composite was down 3.3%. In this section, we discuss select reports published by the research teams of HGFC Securities. These research reports can be accessed at our website. Our retail research team came out with a list of stocks which can be invested through SIP. The 2024 SIP picks are as below. A diverse mix of high quality and high growth companies including Access Bank, Grassam Industries, Infosys and PD Light among others. Our institutional research team published its results preview for the IT sector. Our team expects a weak quarter but positive factors could include the ramp up of the mega deals. Our team believes that there is low margin of safety given that valuations have risen by about 20% in the last six months, leaving limited immediate upside triggers. We maintain our preference for LTI Mitri, Persistent and Birla Soft. Vmart Retail went through a challenging period marked by an unfavorable rural cycle deteriorating unit, unit economics. Nevertheless, our institutional analyst notices improvements which include a gradual recovery in footfall and sales densities and alleviation of working capital challenges. Our team has upgraded the stock from a reduce to a buy and sharply increased the target price from Rs 1850 to Rs 2550 rupees per share. Chola Mandalam Investment and Finance Company, we notice that the company has a strong franchise. However, the company has outperformed Bank Nifty by 60% in calendar year 2023. Hence, our team has downgraded the stock from a buy to an ad. That is all for this week. Do refer to the detailed disclaimer on your screen. Please note that the securities discussed in the presentation are for education and information purposes only. Thank you.